president should have this power. We're only four days away from the 2024 presidential election, and if you look at the news media coverage, it's apparent that Elon Musk is enemy number one of the federal government. Elon Musk has added to the economy of the United States. You would think that he would have the gratitude of state and federal government for all that he's done to expand the wealth and the economic power of the United States. Instead, he's been vilified and attacked as the enemy of the American people. How did this come about? It all started with this seemingly rigged question and answer for President Joe Biden. Let's listen in. Do you think Elon Musk is a threat to U.S. national security? And should the U.S. and with the tools you have investigate his joint acquisition of Twitter with foreign governments, which include the Saudis? <laughs> I think that Elon Musk's cooperation and or technical relationships with other countries uh, is worthy of being looked at. So it's obvious that Joe Biden was told he needed to make this speech. Once he gave that response, the entire executive branch of the federal government was mobilized to attack one human being and to destroy him. Donald Trump may be a political foe of the Biden administration, but Elon Musk was identified as an even more dire threat. Prior to his acquisition of Twitter, which he renamed X to be in line with SpaceX, Elon Musk was the darling of not only the political left, but Hollywood. You can see his cameo here in the original Iron Man movie. And in fact, if you go back 11 years ago, Elon Musk received praise from President Barack Obama himself. And in order to reach the space station, we will work with a growing array of private companies competing to make getting to space easier and more affordable. Once that order went out, the political left on behalf of the Democratic Party began to attack Elon Musk's ability as an innovator, entrepreneur, and owner of multiple companies, and went after him at every level. Here, California agencies not only went after SpaceX, but also against Tesla. Here it is. California officials cite Elon Musk's politics in rejecting more rockets off the central California coast. Elon Musk forced to move X and SpaceX headquarters to Texas. He didn't receive one phone call from anybody in the government of California. Again, because President Joe Biden ordered that this man be destroyed. Probably the most noticeable example of the power of the federal government to crush an individual is that as soon as Joe Biden made his request, a Delaware judge canceled Elon Musk's bonus for the success of Tesla Motors. How does something like this happen? Imagine if Donald Trump ordered the destruction of a human being that he didn't approve of as president. Do you think that the American news media would have just let that slide or that the opposition party would not have reacted? What if President Ronald Reagan had said he didn't like Walter Mondale having lost running against him, and he wanted Walter Mondale destroyed back in 1984. Do you think that would have sounded okay? No, it's wrong. It's legally wrong, it's morally wrong, and it's against the U.S. Constitution for any U.S. president to require that an American citizen, Elon Musk is a citizen, be destroyed. Joe Biden's response here was insane. Listen to him again. Elon Musk's cooperation and or 
technical relationships with other countries uh, is worthy of being looked at. No, Mr. President, your response should have been, while I disagree with the political views of Elon Musk, he is entitled, like any American citizen, to have those views even if the government does not approve of them. Next question, please. That's all he needed to say as we anticipate the 2024 presidential election results. I can't predict who will be our next president, but I can tell you that no president should have this sort of power. Thank you.